friends, this is Megan and I am back today with a new 6x8 layout for my 2021 album and this is also using my For the Love of Homemade Kits kit from February. So I absolutely love how this layout turned out. It is a very simple layout but it has a lot of uh, bling on it. I did put, I think, three or four sequin mixes into my kit this month, and I'm so glad that I did because I uh, think this layout helped me use up at least one of those um, sequin mixes. So I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Here you can see I am pulling in this kind of mint greenish, bluish, teal, whatever you want to call it, wood grain. And that is going to be the mat for my two photos. I'm going to mat this bottom one as well. And these photos were taken back in September uh, when I went to go visit my mom. The last page that I did using this kit was also coincidentally from, um, when I went to visit my mom for her birthday weekend. But one of the things that we did while we were there was we went and visited this sunflower farm and it was towards the end of the season. So a lot of them were like dead or dying and the bottom half of the sunflowers didn't look super pretty. So that's why I have a lot of like the sky and then the mountain behind this area in the photo because um, the bottoms didn't really look very nice. They were like brown and yeah, just falling apart and dying. But because um, I guess they had been doing this um, little sunflower farm for about a month already. I don't remember. But um, basically you pay, I think you pay per car. It was like 10, du 10 ducks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's pay in ducks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was $10 or bucks <laughs> per car, I think. And we had two cars because um, we brought my, um, my sister, two of my sisters had um, one each of their kids with them. So, um, so we had two kids and then there were four adults, I think. So I don't, I think you just paid by the car. I can't honestly remember cause I didn't pay for it. I think my sisters did. I don't remember. We kind of just all pooled our money for the whole weekend <laughs> and my mom wasn't allowed to pay for anything because my mom pays for everything when we go on trips. And, um, I mean, I wish I had endless amounts of money, but <laughs> um, it's nice having a lot of siblings because then when you go in on gifts that are really expensive, like something like this, it's not as much money um, because you have four other people or five other people, you know, going in on the gifts and things. So here you can see, I just dumped out my sequin mix all along that line because the paper was a little white on the right side. And so what I decided to do was just kind of divide the paper with the sequin mix. And this works out so well. And I absolutely love how it looks with my photos and just everything turned out so awesome on this layout. It was very, very simple, very easy to make. I used a couple of star embellishments and the title is going to be that little um, chipboard piece that says believe you can. I just thought it was super cute, very simple and easy. And here I'm just making sure I'm gluing down these sequins so they don't come off. And I am so excited to put this layout in my album along with a bunch of others that I have made for this, um, this little vacation birthday celebration. Here, I'm just going to make sure that everything is sticking down and staying down. There were a few that kind of kept getting, you know, pushed off to the side. And so I was just trying to make sure there was tons of glue holding everything in. And I was using my Silhouette Pick Me Up tool. I am not cool. Like, I think a lot of people that use sequins and they have a, um, I think it's called a silver Tana? I'm not really sure, but I'm not cool like them yet. 
But despite that, um, I do get all of my sequins glued down and in place. And now I'm going to glue down this star. I think I just placed two stars from the embellishment kit. And the um, the collection that I used in my for my embellishments in my kit this month was mainly Paige Evans' uh, Turn the Page. I'm not sure what I went off to do, but oh yes, I also wanted to use some washi tape on this layout. And so I brought in this floral washi tape that I had in my kit, and I'm so glad that I was able to use that one. When I put this in my kit, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to use it, but I have used it. So I'm way excited about that. And this is the end of my layout. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great scrappy day. Bye!